I'll do my best. Sacred signature! to bear your fangs? journey continues. How pitiful, you soulless creatures! Save 
Yes. Sacred signature. Shake Comet. Good. Sacred signature. I'm sorry. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. Good. Sacred signature. <laughs> Sacred signature. Good. Sacred signature. Good. Hugh Grave. Now you will rest. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. Sorry about that. Yo, top Sacred signature. <laughs> My journey continues. Kinda dangerous out here when it's late at night. The animals in the forest never used to be this aggressive before. By the way, you never told me if I'd answered your question correctly. What? Of course, this is all just a story in my mind, so I'm sure there's no way I could possibly be wrong. It's almost time. We have to hurry if we're gonna make it, Frederick. Wait. These flowers are what I wanted to show you. Flowers? Just watch. They're about to blossom.
called Heaven's Mirror. They're like a reflection of the starry sky on the meadows. This is the only place they bloom in the forest. These flowers never bloom during the day, only at night. When the sun is up, they stay in their buds, but they're able to absorb sunlight with their leaves. And after night falls, they let out all the light they've stored when they blossom. It always happens at exactly two o'clock in the morning. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It truly is a wondrous sight. But they're also called death lights. Death lights? The sun brings life, but the dark brings death. And these flowers bloom in darkness. So, darkness is evil, light is good. Whether you want to call them Heaven's Mirror or Death Lights, that's up to you, Frederick. But it seems like, these days, nearly everyone is taken to calling them Death Lights. Long ago, it was thought they looked like the light that guided people to death, since they blossom the opposite of regular flowers. Even now, a lot of people don't like these flowers. To many, they're still considered a bad omen. That's also how they think of me. <sighs> Frederick, you said before that this whole world is all just a dream you're having, right? But if you're in your own dream, how can you be so completely positive that what's happening is only a dream? And if what you're experiencing in the dream is so realistic to you, how can you even tell what's actually the real world? And to prove my point, you didn't read my mind earlier. <sighs> you were wrong. I was thinking about leaving Tenuto. I want to go out into the world and live my own life, even if that life only exists inside your dream. I don't know how much time I have left to live, but I want to live what's left of my life in a positive way, bringing happiness to others. I just want to help people somehow. Like these flowers, even though people call them death lights, they still blossom and struggle to live on. You're going to leave the village? But where do you intend to go after you leave Tenuto? I'll go to Forte Castle. And then I'm going to meet with the Count to ask about the taxes on floral powder. Because right now, they're hurting everyone in the village. You know, you should be happy you couldn't read my mind. Since you can't use magic, it means you don't have an incurable illness. <sighs> Please, stay at my house tonight. I'll tell my mom you're coming. You're a guest in our dream world, after all. That's not something that happens every day. <laughs> A flower that resembles you. A bad omen. Death lights. Hmm. This is the first time I'm going outside Red Ardondo. It's not like we're going on a picnic, Beat. Don't get so excited. Yeah, I know that, Riddle. 
We're going to help Redondo's poor by getting the leaders to lower taxes on stuff besides the mineral powder, right? That way, everyone can afford blankets and cheese and all the honey-covered bread they could ever possibly want. Then everyone can finally be happy, right, Redo? That's exactly right. Hey, I'm proud of you, Beat. We can't solve things by just stealing bread. We have to uncover the real root of the problem. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going anyway? <sighs> you mean you don't know? Jeez, I take back what I just said. We're heading to Forte Castle to talk to the guys in charge. Come on, let's go. Hey, Riddle, wait up! Thank <laughs> you. 